Aquarius, welcome to your three month sneak peek for April, May, and June. We're going to jump in, just pick out a few key things. It'll be a quick reading. So, let's see what we got for you, Aquarius. Mm, interesting. I feel like you have a big change in your life, okay? Um, it may not feel good at first, but it's actually showing you key parts of your life that you need to nurture or change. Um, I feel like you're going to fight it for a little while, but eventually you know that it's something you need to cut out, okay? Some of you are going on a trip or this could just be a personal journey of change. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, I feel like in April, you're going to be kind of tired. I feel like you've been fighting or putting up with something, um, getting a lot of things done. It's something that's taken a lot of your energy, okay? Um, yeah, like I said, because of the Karmic Lessons card, it feels like something you don't like in particular, but it's good for you. It's helping you expand your thinking or your life or something of that nature, okay? Um, so I feel like it gives you an opportunity to change some things in your life that haven't been the best. And you're going to make a lot of decisions um, on how to move forward and do better. So it's actually a healing situation, even though it's something that's not something you really wanted to go through you could have dealt you could have did without it you know it's very helpful to you okay um so you're cutting out a lot of things that aren't useful to you anymore I mean really that's that's what it is a lot of actions a lot of thinking a lot of just things in your life that aren't useful um it could come in a lot of areas. So it's more of a transformation. Yeah. you. I feel like you've been ignoring it for a while or kind of hanging tight, <laughs> hanging tight on it. But you're seeing that it's not getting you anywhere. And you want to be happy and successful. You know, it's kind of one of those moments where you have like this life lesson that shows you that life is short and you need to like take the bull by the horns. Okay. That's more in April. So in May, in May, you're speaking your mind a lot more about what it is that you want in life, especially if you're married uh, or in a relationship, you're like, I want commitment. I want things to go this certain way, um, but you're not being demanding as much as you're expressing parts that you've kept to yourself. Okay. Um, it's interesting because I feel like you're with someone who, for those of you in a relationship, okay, I feel like this person isn't going to take it very well. They're not looking at it as you trying to better the relationship. They're looking at it as you going through some sort of mood or see like a change, okay? Um, so I feel like it's going to be really rough getting this person to change, Um Ooh, some of you are really deciding to walk away from this person because you really want change and you just want good in your life and you're ready to move forward. So you may really be considering leaving somebody or leaving a situation that no longer serves you. You're really on some sort of journey in May. Things are really going to change for you. Okay. You're feeling like 
The key to making your life better is speaking up and expressing what's inside. But because someone is not allowing you to do that, your first reaction is to cut it out. Okay. But I don't know if you do or not. You're just like thinking this is not working. I need to move forward. And that would involve me separating emotionally from this. So it's almost like you don't care about me emotionally. I won't care about you emotionally. I don't know that you're going to leave. Some of you will, but it's more like, well, fine, then I'll do what I want kind of energy. Okay. So going into June, some of you may just go on a trip, you know, uh, I feel like you need to get away from all the mental back and forth or arguments or whatever it is that you're happen having. It's like you need a change. Okay. And you don't want to hear it, okay? It's the same things over and over again. And you're like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to be a part of it. Some of you will leave. Some of you are just ignoring it, okay? You're really focused on yourself and how you feel. Um, it's like you're allowing this person to do all of the work and you're backing out. And you're backing out mostly because you're focusing on yourself. You're using all of that energy towards you, okay? So I feel like this person is going to be defensive, like, the thing that's interesting is they're not, they don't want to change, right? But they want to keep things together. Um, so they, they're they looking at it as you're going through a phase. <laughs> I keep getting that, but that's, that's what it's like. It's like they need to cut the same cycle out and change to a different one, right? Um, it's like they need to miss you. Or you need to go away in order for them to realize how happy you actually make them. And it changes their mindset, okay? It's like you need to make some sort of change. I feel like it's going to come back around. And this person is really stubborn about how they like things and how you kind of stay consistent even though you mentally detach, you know? Uh, they're, it's like you need to really stick with what it is that you're saying and do it. I don't think that it's going to be easy, but I think it'll be nice for you to have a little bit of a break. Okay. Now, as far as money and career goes, don't invest in anything that you haven't researched. That's the first thing. Okay. Um, because I feel like, especially if it's stock, it's like, it's really good right now, but it's not steady or stable. And same with um, self-employment. Okay. It may be going good now and it may not stay that way the whole time, but I feel like money, like you're good where you are. Just keep doing what it is that you're doing, but don't go spending extra money or doing anything out of the ordinary. There's definitely a big change in you, Aquarius. It's like your eyes have been opened. It's like you see things differently. And you know that you got to start making some moves here. And a lot of this is cutting out things that are damaging to your life. Um, people, actions, situations, mindsets, all of that. Okay? So I love you, Aquarius, and I'll talk to you later. See you for the monthly and the love readings. Bye-bye.